Welcome to Teltech Services training videos. This video will discuss managing holiday greetings in the auto attendant of your phone system using the Call Pilot Manager. The video assumes that you already know how to get to the Call Pilot Manager and that you have the user ID and password required to log in. If this is not the case, please contact us. This video is uh, somewhat a continuation of previous ones where we dis discuss the auto attendant and custom call routing trees. You may want to go back and review those videos and if you haven't watched them, watch them before you continue with this particular video. So for holiday greetings, uh, it allows you to play a different greeting on a, on a given day. Uh, for example, if we wanted to play a different greeting on Canada Day, July 1st, to let, uh, let our callers know that we were closed for that day, uh, that's how we would go about it. For starters, we need to record the actual greeting. So we would go to Auto Attendant and Company Greetings. Now you have lots of room for greetings. There's some uh, some 250 greetings you can use here, so it's good to space them out a little bit. Let's start at uh, greeting 10. Click on voice. Again, you would dial 225. Click on dial. The system calls you. You click on record. You get a beep. You record the actual message, which would be you've reached ABC Widgets or whatever your company name is. Uh, we are closed in honor of Canada Day. Please contact us, uh, whatever you want to say in that message, really. Uh, stop, play, make sure you're happy with it, re-record it if necessary, stop. When you're finished, you click on save and close. Okay, so we have, uh, we have the message recorded. It is always good to add a caption, and let's just call that uh, Canada Day. As you get more and more greetings in here, just adding captions make it, makes it much easier to figure out what's what. So now we have a Canada Day greeting. How do we go about getting it to play on a given day? So if we go to the Holidays selection, we have a new item there. I'll just add one. I was playing around before, obviously. Uh, let's call this uh, Canada Day. The date is uh, July 1st. So let's go with July 1st. Uh, occurs on the same date every year. Yes, you can say that. And the greeting we want to play now, instead of uh, instead of all ones, we wanted it to play greeting ten, which is the one we recorded this calendar day. And non business, we still want to have it uh, play the non business hours greeting, which is greeting number four. And in all cases, uh, I believe we had CCR three two playing. So once it's played that greeting, we still want to give them some options, like we have before. And we want to start playing that greeting. We can choose any time we want, but we want to start playing that greeting at 8, 8 o'clock, uh, continue at noon, and actually, let's go to greeting 4, starting at 5 o'clock, which is our closing time, and the time we would normally start playing our, our after-hours greeting. So starting at 8 o'clock, it's going to play our candidate greeting, which lets our, use our customers or our callers know that we are closed for the day. At the evening, it continues on with our out-of-normal-business-hours uh, greeting and carries on. So you can see we have a candidate day, July 1st, repeating. Um, as a for instance, let's just say, let's do another one here. Let's just call it uh, Christmas Day. Uh, no, I apologize. Let's, uh, let's select Good Friday, which is on April the 2nd, uh, the year I recorded this video. And in this case, it is not the same day every year, as, uh, as we all know. And we have a different greeting. Let's just say I recorded greeting 11 for Good Friday. You would obviously organize those so that it made more sense to you. We still have our after hours greeting. And you'd have to go back and kind of check these, make sure you know what you're doing there. And we would change the times again for 8, 12, 5, and 5. And click on Submit. So there we have uh, two greetings, one that is repeating every year and uh, one that will come up as pending. Now, once that is passed due, that up by just I uh, can't do that sorry if 
uh, once we've gone past April 2nd, that will say expired. And this is where you need to put a reminder in your Outlook calendar or wherever you manage that to come in and, and update these on a, on a semi-regular basis every couple, three months. Just go back uh, to the ones that are expired and, and enter the date for the next time that that's going to come up, say 2011. It's always going to be on a different date than April 2nd and you need to update that. So that is how you set up holidays and uh, the system will automatically play those holidays based on the schedules that we created as you saw in the video on those days and play those greetings and then go right back to normal after that uh, whether it's a weekend or, a, or work day the next day it'll go right back to playing your regular messages just the way it always has if you have any questions give us a call back at 403-543-6959